friends welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be adding some patriotic and fourth of july decor to our living area and kitchen area and we also have some cleaning motivation so let's go ahead and get into today's video if you're new here welcome my name is katie this is kindly katie i love sharing videos on home decor cleaning and mom life so if you're new here i would hope that you consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up if you like it for today's video we're going to be doing it a little bit more vlog style than some of my other decor videos and we're going to be starting here with the entryway table i want to kick off this video with some decorating motivation and inspiration first and then we'll get to a little bit more cleaning i also have some stuff i'd like to rearrange more in the kitchen area so we will get to that soon Okay, for the entryway table, um, I'm actually gonna be moving my diffuser into the kitchen, I think. So we're going to move everything off the entryway table and then we're going to start adding some patriotic decor. table runner that I picked up at Target um, a couple days ago. I found it in the clearance section. It was $5.40, regular $18, and it's just like this chambray blue color with some white stitching and designs in there, and I thought this would be really perfect for patriotic decor. entryway table is this two-tiered tray from Hobby Lobby. It is just a metal tray with round wooden tiers and um, I've had this for two or three years now and I just really wanted to switch up my tiered trays and I think I'm going to move the one off of the kitchen table so I thought adding one to the entry table would be a good idea. So let's style this tiered tray. Okay I think the first piece I want to use is my Ray Dunn USA mug. And for that, I'm going to add these red, white, and blue paper straws. cute little sign from Hobby Lobby. You can either say God bless America or July 4th. This star is from Kirkland's a couple years ago. I like to use the red, white, and blue side. of this bottom shelf I think I'm going to add this cute little basket that I thrifted and fill it with some of these buffalo check stars from Hobby Lobby looking good I may boost this up a little bit in the back and then to fill in I'm going to use I found these floral picks in the Target dollar spot it was three dollars for three picks and it looks like blue um, eucalyptus kind of and then I'm going to use a couple more of these stars
to be adding to the entryway table are these um, blue mason jars. These are actual like vintage blue ball mason jars that I recently got from my grandparents' house. And they're both in heaven and we were able to go through their house and get some things. And so these are two of the things that I got and I absolutely love them. Um, I'll show you the the storm door the glass door behind me is nasty it has <laughs> slobber and fingerprints all over it who can relate toddler moms am I right um, and Grant's napping but all of his toys and stuff are still out in the living room so let's do a little bit of cleaning before we start decorating some more okay I don't know if you can see there you go look at all of that nasty stuff <laughs> restoring an antique corner cabinet that belonged to um, I think my great great grandmother I'm gonna have to clarify it'll be in the next video all the details about it but we are gonna put that up here in this corner and style it with some everyday and a little bit of 4th of July decor so be sure to stay tuned for my next video to see how that project turns out 
Now we're gonna move on into the kitchen area and that's where we're gonna be doing some rearranging of my decor. Okay, so here's a little before shot of the kitchen. Um, don't mind the dishes and stuff. We're gonna do some cleaning. But the first thing that I want to rearrange is actually moving this Hobby Lobby chicken wire shelf onto our kitchen table. I love having it here, but I do miss having a little bit more room around my sink. And I just wanna switch things up. I think this shelf will fit perfectly over here on our table. We do keep the table pushed up against that wall anyway, unless we have guests over. Um, but since it's just the three of us right now, we have plenty of room, but I think it'll fit so nicely back here and it'll be a nice change. I'm going to put this white metal tear tray away for a little bit, but I'm sure I'll be pulling it back out at fall because I just love tear trays and the bigger the better. And then we're gonna move this diffuser. I don't know if it'll stay on the cake stand, but the diffuser is gonna go over here where the shelf was. And I wanna set up like a cute little vignette type thing over here and possibly change up what's around the sink as well we don't have curtains in here um we got new windows um geez in may i think and i just haven't gotten around to ordering new curtains for all the rooms in the house so you'll have to just don't pay attention to that things are in process so let's get to switching around some decorations onto the shelf is this Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. This is a classic red and white checked book. I thrifted this last year and I was so happy to find it. patriotic pieces I have this sign I um, got this on clearance at Michael's last year after the season I don't remember how much it was but I think it was like a dollar or something on sale and then I picked up this plate at Hobby Lobby this year it was $9.99 but I got it when it was 40% off and I just thought it was so cute table decor and I really like it. I think if this were something that stayed there, which 
It may, but I doubt that it'll stay there at Christmas because that's what I used to make my hot cocoa bar. So that would work better on the counters. But my mom mentioned that that would be a really good place to keep like salt and pepper shakers and napkins if it does stay on the table, like for to use when we're eating. I think that's a really great idea. So if you have the Hobby Lobby chicken wire shelf, think about that if, your if it works on your kitchen table. So now we're gonna work on the peg rail shelf area by the sliding glass doors. diffuser here in the corner. This has to stay. That's like the remote for our ceiling fan. I think I'm just going to bring the diffuser over as is here. Um, I probably should wipe this off first. This cake stand I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby couple years ago. The diffuser itself is from Walmart. I got that for Christmas and I like to spruce them up by adding some of these mini wreaths from the Target dollar spot around the base. the diffuser I'm going to place this crock this is also something I got from my grandparents house and I'm just really excited to use all these new antique pieces so I thought to that we would add some um, utensils this was from my grandparents house um, it doesn't look particularly old but it is a nice wooden rolling pin. And this would be so cute because I could add seasonal pieces to this as well. A couple more wooden spoons. And then I thought it would be cute to add um, some blue pieces to tie in with the 4th of July. And lately I've been loving to keep a little creamer or small pitcher near my diffuser so it's easy to fill them up. I had this cobalt blue glass one that was my mamma's, also from my grandparents' house. So I want to set this here. It does get a little lost on my back black countertops. So I'm going to go get a little doily to place under this. Okay, and then down here to the handle of the dishwasher, I'm going to add a seasonal towel. Fourth of July one quite a few years ago. It's very cute and that is where we will dry our hands. Okay now we're going to work on this area. I don't really ever use this brush a lot so I think I'm going 
to change this around a little bit. back out my bubble up sponge dish because I do use my um, sponge a lot to wash dishes. So we're just going to fill this up. And then um, instead of having out this yellow bottle of soap, I think I'm just gonna put out a neutral one for now. Um, this is just a Ray Dunn soap that my sister got me, I think for Christmas, and it is coconut scented, so perfect for summer. Okay guys, we're almost done. The next thing we're gonna do is clean my stove top and do a little candle there and then change up the sign up here on the top of the cabinets and then i'm going to give you a final look at everything but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video so let's clean the stove top we'll show you you can tell look at all that burnt on stuff lovely so we're going to clean this really quick this is the cleaner i've used i've had this since um, we've had a glass stove top, which has been for years now, but this is a good cleaner. the stove top is clean I have this cute candle surround that I got at clearance on clearance at Kohl's one year um, I bought a specific Bath and Body Works candle for this video during the semi-annual sale and it still hasn't shipped so when that gets here I'll put that out I'm not sure if it'll fit in this holder but I'm gonna use this for now and the candle that I had out is from Kohl's so I know this will fit down in here does that look weird if it's yellow? Does that look weird? Maybe not that side. I might leave it out and see, but it's not my favorite. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today's cleaning and decorating video. I hope this gave you some inspiration for some probably last minute 4th of July decor, but I'm so glad that you guys joined me today for some decorating inspiration and some cleaning motivation. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos. I like to do cleaning and decorating and mom life. So I hope you guys will join me here at Kindly Katie. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.